Oh, here we are in Longbridge in Birmingham. And this is a site of massive regeneration for the city of Birmingham. So a little bit of history in this area. In the 1960s, MG Rover had a factory here, which had about 25,000 people working in the factory and living in this local area. However, due to foreign competition overseas, where it's cheaper to build overseas, cheaper labor costs, everything is much, much cheaper. This led to the, the company being bought out and moving overseas to a Chinese company. That then le led to mass unemployment in this local area of Longbridge. Mass unemployment, dereliction, this became a brownfield site. A brownfield site being an area, post-industrial area, factories, run down, dereliction, left to struggle. Brownfield site you can build on. As we are very close to the suburbs here, it is very difficult to build on a green belt. Cities have a green belt surrounding the area and cities don't want you building on the green belt onto the rural area. So they build on brownfield sites, areas to regenerate. And we can see here an amazing bit of regeneration in this area of Longbridge. So this whole area of Longbridge has had a billion pounds spent on it. And this little town here in Longbridge has spent 70 million pounds to regenerate and rebuild this area. And having a look behind me, we can see all these shops in the background. So Marks and Spencers had opened in 2013, had 350 jobs created from just building M&S. All shops in this area created, and local businesses created 10,000 jobs in this local area, which is great for unemployment issues and allows people to get a job in this local environment. However, these aren't all um, the positives created from this. Behind me, having a look here, we've got what looks like some amazing flats, residential areas. So that's obviously good. We've got residential areas for people to come and live in this local area. However, what problems with that? House prices start to go up. When an area is regenerated, it's on the up, house prices start to increase. And that then prices people out of living in an area such as this. People that once worked for MG Rover will stay unemployed. They may be very skilled workers. They might not be working in a place such as Marks and Spencers. So when we've got house prices on the up, people might have to move to other parts of Birmingham, pricing people are out of the area. What we also have though, is people, um, because of these shops like we've got here of Marks and Spencers, all these different things, towns such as Bromsgrove, neighboring Birmingham, suddenly don't have the demand. People choose to travel to Longbridge to use the Sainsbury's, to use the Marks and Spencers, to use all these different shops because it's all here in one place. So towns such as Bromsgrove suddenly don't have the demand. They might then experience a cycle of decline because they don't have enough people choosing to go into Bromsgrove to shop. When you've got everything here, you've got up to three hours of free parking. This is a great opportunity for people to come and visit. So we can see here some major, major problems. We've got a massive car park. There's a huge car park behind me. The amount of people, 200,000 people in the area will choose to visit this site of Longbridge. So there's massive demand. You've got 16,000 students in the area who live around here that will come to this place. What does that lead to? Pollution, traffic pollution, increased car use, people traveling here, congestion on the roads. This will lead to major, major problems, creating issues for the local environment, which obviously it's been landscaped, it looks lovely here, but major, major issues with traffic pollution, car pollution, putting people and local areas at risk. But what a sight, massive regeneration. You can see they've pumped a huge amount of money into this local area. It looks great. And obviously it's created jobs and it's created a great environment to live in. However, people can't afford to live here. It's very expensive. You look at these flats, nice terraces. It's very expensive to live here. We can see behind me the, uh, the sign here for office space. 105,000 square foot of office space. That shows that businesses will be attracted to this area, but there are winners and losers. Great site for regeneration, Longbridge. Once again, some superb geography in action.